Hey, how's it going? Going good here. I'm over at Orange Gate Properties. On the other side, where you have to watch out for horse shit, but, uh... <laughs> lots of people bring their horses in here. But, uh... Yeah, I'm doing so much better than I was. I like to view... how much progress, how, how far we've come in society. For, you know, minorities and women. We've just come so amazingly far. And there are people out there trying to declare that, no, we haven't hardly achieved anything. We, we haven't demolished the system. We haven't destroyed the, the systems in place, these oppressive systems. And it's just like, I don't think things will ever get to a point where you'll say the systems have been destroyed. Yeah, I don't want to look at the world through, through the lens of uh, everything is oppressive, everything is terrible, everything is awful. It's just, no. And I don't want to be told that I'm a terrible person for not looking at the world that way. You know, the, the, these systems, oh, you, you just really need to understand. I do understand. Okay, I get it. You want to view the world through the lens of everything is terrible. And I don't think everything is terrible. Yeah, we've got some problems. One of them's in the White House, you know. But this country, we, we live in a nice country. A country with problems, but we live in a nice country. And I don't think we should forget that. I don't, just sometimes intersectionality and identity politics seem like a religion. Just like with religion, when you actually look into the, the literature, you start to realize, yeah, this is shit. Same with religious books. Yeah, you start to actually re read it and realize, hey, this is shit. You know, if you want to view the world through the lens of that everything is terrible, go right ahead. Just leave me out of it. And don't guilt trip me for not thinking the same way. <laughs>